have to push, I have to push the discussion on this narrative into somewhere that's going to be effective. Are the cracks between Johnny Depp and Robert Downey Jr.'s friendship finally getting visible? Why did Robert suddenly decide to drop his longtime friend Johnny Depp? If you thought the drama between Johnny and Amber would have ended with the trial, you were wrong because this controversy keeps getting messier by the day, and it seems to involve a lot of the other high-profile celebrities in its mess. From Jason Momo to Kate Moss to Elon Musk all have found themselves involved in this drama, and now it looks like a number of other celebs also find themselves in this mess. And one of that celeb happens to be Johnny's old friend Robert Downey Jr. Ever since the trial started, the general audience and the celebrities have been busy picking sides between Amber and Johnny. With majority of them choosing Johnny's side, Amber faced public backlash on social media, with the fans and even celebs calling her out as a liar and a disgrace to actual DV victims. After winning his trial against Amber Heard, Johnny took to Instagram to celebrate his victory. Johnny wrote, Six years ago, my life, the life of my children, the lives of those closest to me, and also the lives of the people, who for many many years have supported and believed in me were forever changed. And six years later, the jury gave me my life back. I am truly humbled. Johnny concluded the statement by saying, I am, and have been, overwhelmed by the outpouring of love and the colossal support and kindness from around the world. And as Johnny said, he did receive a lot of support, as countless high-profile celebrities like Johnny's post instead of Amber to show their support. But it looks like the tables have turned, more than 100 celebrities have now unliked the post. According to several reports, celebs who withdrew their likes from Johnny's post include Jennifer Aniston, Sophie Turner, Bella Hadid, Jason Moma, Orlando Bloom, and even Johnny's close friend Robert Downey Jr. Out of all the celebs that unliked Johnny's post, fans were most shocked to see Robert unliking it because he had been very vocal about his support of Johnny against Amber. After the trial concluded, Robert personally called up Johnny to congratulate him. They're, they were a very powerful team, and you know, and, and to this day, I'm gonna tell you guys straight up, I'm also the only one who's got video of this. I was the very, other than, other than Robert Downey, who, who FaceTimed first, he FaceTimed my phone, because um, that's my other oldest friend of 35 years, and, yep. and Bob loves Johnny. He FaceTimed me, um, and then, you know, he was like, John, thank God it's over, and the next FaceTime was me and Adam and Johnny. And not only that, according to several confirmed sources, Robert was turning every stone to bring Johnny on board for the third installment of the Sherlock Holmes movie. A senior source at Warner Bros. said that Robert wants Johnny on board, come hell or high water. So what made Robert Downey go from battling to get him back on his feet, to removing his like from Johnny's statement and publicly not supporting Johnny? Well, the real reason why Johnny lost the support of so many celebrities might be connected to recent unsealing of more than 6,000 pages of court documents from Johnny and Amber's legal battle. And while the newly unsealed documents revealed that both Amber and Johnny wanted to keep certain information private. Legal experts are saying the documents mostly reflect very badly on Johnny. So what really is there in these documents that made Robert Downey and countless other celebs withdraw their support for Johnny? According to one of the unsealed documents, Johnny apparently tried to submit photos of Amber with no clothes on into evidence along with the information that she briefly worked as an exotic dancer. Amber's team also objected to Johnny attempting to frivolously and maliciously suggest or imply that Heard was at one time an escort. The documents also reveal that Johnny suffered from erectile dysfunction, and Amber's team argues that this information is relevant to her claims of SA and the fact that Johnny used a liquor bottle during the alleged attack. Amber's legal team wrote in their filing, Mr. Depp's erectile dysfunction makes it more probable that Mr. Depp would be angry or agitated in encounters with Amber Heard and that he would resort to a bottle. The unsealed documents also revealed that Johnny tried to submit manipulated images of the alleged marks on his face with altered metadata. And according to these unsealed documents, Johnny allegedly intentionally manipulated audio recordings of his arguments with Amber and refused to provide unedited recordings. Amber's team said, Mr. Depp produced multiple partial audio recordings that begin and end in the middle of a sentence and he couldn't explain why he produced partial recordings. Johnny also allegedly tried to block testimony from his own witness, digital forensics expert Brian Neumeister, who concluded that Amber's photos that show her marks were not altered. Johnny also tried to have expert testimony from psychiatrist Dr. Amy Banks removed because Banks had concluded during joint sessions with Amber and Johnny that Amber was a victim of DV at the hands of Mr. Depp. Another document shows that Johnny blocked Amber's team from showing evidence that his lawyer Adam Waldman intimidated a witness into signing a pre-written declaration that she never saw any marks on Amber. 
According to these documents, Waldman threatened the witness with perjury and told her she would face negative consequences if she refuses to cooperate with him. But one part of the unsealed documents that really shook everyone was Johnny's own declaration in which he admitted that Amber did not cause him any specific physical or mental injury. The document states, Mr. Depp does not allege a specific cause of action for intentional or negligent infliction of emotional distress, does not assert that Heard's actions caused him a specific psychiatric injury, and does not claim that Heard's actions caused him to experience unusually severe emotional distress. But the most disturbing part of the unsealed document were the text messages shared between Johnny Depp and Marilyn Manson, who has been accused of essay by multiple women. In one of the messages, Manson referred to his now wife Lindsay Usage as Amber 2.0 and wrote, Lindsay just pulled an Amber on me, please delete. Johnny replied to this by writing, I've been reading a lot of material on that and sociopathic behavior. It is real my brother. My ex is a god in textbook. Manson then goes on to ask Johnny for refuge, I got a serious police Amber type scenario with Elle's family. I'm f stressing. I don't know if you are back, but I need asylum somewhere because I think the cops might be headed my way. She is pulling Amber and the cops are gonna show up to serve me a restraining order. But it gets more disturbing and disgusting from here. Manson appears to offer Johnny a new fan, my new meet and greet girl. Looks like you meet it. Trust me, I'll send a pic. And then in another text exchange, Johnny and Manson talk about having a secret cave where they would bring their victims. Johnny wrote, It is my opinion that we will need a cave of some sort. I'm thinking to say it's style. Johnny was referring to 18th century French philosopher and politician Marcus de Sade, infamous for his controversial works depicting graphic SV. In response, Manson responded by making a reference to Salo, the highly controversial 1975 horror film based on Sade's novel The 120 Days of Sodom. I'll text you tomorrow. Let's have our own solo. But no gay stuff with us. Just get the guy in front of the Chinese theater and someone from any goth band and buy them as slaves and make them recreate our formative years in an opera. A street opera. And we shall tussle the young lasses. Double Dots Girl gets here on Thursday. We can have clandestine man times. Cat wrestling. Then the Fanta shall send us into about her face space. Boom. As for what Double Dots and Fanta, Mean several Twitter users claim that it refers to some crazy acts that Manson's alleged victims have already accused him of in their statements. So with this new shocking revelations being made public, it's no wonder that celebs who initially chose to support Johnny have decided to distance themselves from him. The fact that Johnny's longtime friend Robert Downey Jr. was so quick to withdraw his support from Johnny's post-trial statement speaks volumes. Reacting to this fans believe that this has been a long time coming and Johnny is not a saint as everyone thinks he is. One person wrote, The fact that unreleased documents is what getting celebrities to unlike Johnny Depp's statement is so funny to me. As if there weren't evidence out in public like how he admitted to things he denied and also those texts fantasizing killing her. Another person tweeted, Why don't people pay attention? Depp has known anger and substance issues with misogynistic leanings. Smashed things up and smacked people in public for years. Talked about intimidating intimate partners in print. These were noble things, but TikTok said it was Amber, so. But there are people who are still standing in support of Johnny Depp and saying this is nothing but a way to manipulate the media. Johnny Depp is being crucified for texts he sent to a friend, displaying the kind of language both he and Amber used. We don't know what texts she sent because, unlike JD, she has repeatedly refused to provide her phone. What victim refuses to provide evidence? And reacting to Robert Downey unliking Johnny's post one user said, I stand by and respect the celebrities that did not unlike Johnny Depp's celebratory post. Hollywood is filled with so many fake people. There is no evidence in the unsealed documents that Amber is not the abuser. You are either a friend or not. Another person added, this is the most shocking one as their best friends. This made me realize maybe PR firms did a survey on public opinion with respect to Johnny Depp after the trial and the result didn't came positive, so they decided to force their clients to unlike the post in his support. Do you think Johnny Depp is bad as the unsealed document make him out to be and Robert Downey and other celeb are right in distancing themselves from Johnny? Leave your comments below and if you thought this entire situation was messy wait till you check this next video.